Columnar jointing <laughs> again. It always finds a way. Life uh, finds a way. That's incredible. <laughs> All right. Add that to the screenshot folder. Uh, let's get you out of here. And I believe spacebar skips cutscenes. There we go. That's nice to know. Because that's a long-ass cutscene to watch that many times in a row. So that's the bottom one. That's middle. I see. The little coil thing changes locations. They're all kind of different. I want to do the one that's skinny in the middle, I guess. If I can make out which one that is. Oh god, it rotates too. Right, I forgot. Crap, okay. Do they all look identical? They do. So I want the coil on the outside on all of them except the one that I'm actually looking at at the moment. It appears to be the thing. So, flip. Go. Flip. Damn it. Flip. Go. Okay, so now the one that's not flipped is by me. And the other two are flipped. I believe that's correct. You just need to be linked up. That's all that it is. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Should be all the steps. I think I just nailed it. Alright, if we're lucky... I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna skip this part because it might be a different cutscene. If we're lucky... It should now open, maybe? Or go somewhere else or something? Oh yeah, it's, rot it's rotating. There we go. So as I figured, the actual elevator rotates. And by, by inputting that specific stuff, the elevator rotates so that you can then leave. Okay. That journal was probably there from the get-go, so I probably could have done this from the get-go. Oh. It appears he just escaped. Silly guy, though. The only reason I'm getting out in the first place is that he freaking left me his instructions on how to chase him. Look at this incredibly garish room. <laughs> Everything's bright purple and gilded in gold and ridiculous looking. What do you do? Send the elevator away? That might be useful. Oh. This universe really likes to have doors that close behind you, huh? Oh, hey. So this is where I would have ended up if I actually chased him. I would have gone up this thing. And then I would have presumably not... Would have not been able to open the door because the elevator needed to be used to open the door. I think that's what that discovery is. Okay. Well, I can keep poking around, but let's finish looking in that chamber first. But he was doing all sorts of mysterious things in this room. Hi. teach you the secrets of my ages. This world is the first step on your journey. Search the island and you'll find three linking books. 
Each connects to an age in which you must be born to fulfill. Hello, Atris. Been a long time. Sorry I'm not there to greet you in person, but I just didn't think it would be wise, considering how long I've been stuck here. Trapped in these lesson ages by two very greedy little boys. Your sons, Atris, Cirrus, and Akinar. Of course, they're not so little anymore, not so innocent. I thought a lot about innocence these last few years and what happens when it gets lost. Worried about relation? I have it. Worried about friends, relatives, people you can't get back? I know just how you feel. But if you want to do something about it, you're going to have to open this device. And there's just one problem. I've changed the three symbols that do that. So if you want to reclaim relation, you're going to have to take your own class. <laughs> Find the three symbols, Atris. And don't keep me waiting forever. Wow. There's a step up in acting all of a sudden, isn't there? He seems to be seem to be a whole different higher caliber. Also, I think I saw a tear, which is like a detail I don't think I could even see in the previous games due to resolution issues. It's just a general upgrade in acting and filming quality and rendering resolution and everything. It's all progressing at the same time. Oh crap, these things again. Okay. I just drag I guess I can just drag it myself. What is my goal? Can't go over there. The depth of field controller. Isn't that interesting? I partly wonder if I'm supposed to point it at this guy or not. Oh, the more I zoom in, the more it somehow becomes more possible to zoom in on that thing. Not quite, though. So somebody being isolated on a world and then getting a revenge mission <laughs> as a result, like Khan from Star Trek, seems to be very much the reoccurring plot point in this series. Uh, three games running now. Uh, for, in various, somewhat differing ways. Oh, notes. More new notes for his book, I think? Cirrus and Akinar, the walls run red with... Steam and strangling branches. I see their bloated faces laughing at everything. I remember how they lied. I remember what they did. They brought me here to die. I followed them. The lattice roots were black from too much overgrowth. Puffer spores floated up in the hot steam and burst. No one was there to guide the spores to the branches. No one was waiting to perform the ritual weaves. The fighting had torn my people apart. They didn't care. They didn't care. They wanted Narayan to die. I have done it. I have used his swirling linking book to follow him. Oh, that was there before. Been through there. So they were adding new sections to this thing, it would appear. Let's see. Searching for some signs of his sons. They're not there. This is all familiar. I believe. I think we're just gonna slowly find more and more of his book to substitute into this thing. And they'll be sorted in accordingly. Hopefully I'll be able to tell which ones are new each time. 
Okay, I've got to figure out what's the goal with these three things. This one's got a leaf. Oh, there you are. Do I just make it line up? That seems about right to me. I don't know how to like say yes or something. seems about right. Does it stay put, or do I have to redo solve it each time? Okay. So maybe I have to get all of them right at the same time? But he's basically, like, setting us up to be stalled at this point, right? So I can... He can do what he needs to do while I'm busy with something else. There we go. Now this makes more sense to me. So it would appear that the ending of Mist 2 was pointless. The ending of Riven. Where you get isolated from... Akinar. I mean, from, uh... Atrus. This seems to have not really served much purpose. Because they could have just as easily had a time jump between the games, which they did anyway, without me being separated. But it, the most likely thing is that they probably weren't... They probably didn't have all the sequels planned to begin with. Because you never knew for sure if you'd even get a sequel back then. Or even now. So, who knows. They probably... They might have had a... They also might have just had plans, but different plans at the time of where to go next. And then Ubisoft got the proper the property and just went somewhere else with it. And they're like, oh look, the Wanderer and Atrus are together again. We'll just ignore the rest. Is there like a... Not, now that I have a better idea what to look for, because the other ones are kind of more distinctive, let's take a look around again. Is that what I'm looking for? There's the doorway over there. That seems pretty accurate to me. Did I do it good? Do I click on something else now? Um, I think I did them all. But this... I try pressing this button thing and it doesn't do anything. And I try clicking on that thing and it doesn't do anything. I don't know what else it wants from me. How about you? No, not you. How about you? My sons, I promise to teach you the secrets of my ages. This world is the first step on your journey. Search the island and you'll find three linking books. Each connects to an age in which you must be born to live for. Hello, Atrus. So that wasn't it. Same cutscene as before. What was he doing in this room? He did something with this thing. I can't find the mechanism on it. Did he solve these things when he was in here? Is that what he was doing? This is like a weird ball thing, so I would think that you press that to continue. Because you do that with the other ones. But none of them are working the way that this one seems to. Because this one presses just fine. Well, I've still got plenty of island to explore, so we can continue. Thankfully, they seem to stay solved, so... I can just come back later and try again with something else without really any much extra loss of time. Let's go back outside because I still haven't explored most of this place. There's other places to try. So here's these guys again. There's the next one. 
The, I think that's the previous one behind me. So I think I'm standing here and want to point at the other thing. Just to continue with my attempted solution. Is it pointing at that one? No, that's a yellow one. That one's red, though. What is it pointing at? It's pointing at that one, isn't it? Huh. I'll point it here for now until I have a better idea. In that one camera angle, I did see the door I was just pointing one of the, th the scopes at, though. Like that. Like, I think that's one of them over there. That's the bird one, probably, or whatever the pointy looking one was. This one over there. Those are probably what they're referring to as the tusks. The, are, do those have the linking books I need to find? They might. That might be exactly what I need to do. Okay. I want to fully explore this island as much as I can first. It might be that you don't solve those scopes at all, but you, they just get point out where the three locations are, where, where the, uh... What's that? It might be that those scopes just point out the three, uh... Linking book tusk locations and that's it? That's all they accomplish, maybe? Ooh, this might be where the beam starts, if I am right about the idea of that even being what's going on. That was loud. Oh, there we go. That's interesting. Okay, now there's a beam coming out. Oh, and you can rotate it both ways. I assume it doesn't get brighter. No. Okay. So now there's a beam going through here. And now, yeah, so it comes from over here and it goes into this and comes out that direction. So it does, ex it does exactly what I thought it did. It did. So not only was I right about what this thing does, I was right about uh, what direction to probably take it in, I think. Because there's nothing over there. That points you to blue. Is blue receiving light? It is, but shooting it out that way. Let's try the other direction. If I can. Which maybe I can't. I can. Oh yeah, this works exactly how I thought it worked. Cool. <laughs> Nothing's coming out of you though. Pointing at the purple. I can double check what direction the blue's pointing. There's yellow behind me, and it's pointing nowhere. Whoops. I made the mistake of going off of where I saw that the fact that I saw the light coming out, and not whether or not it was actually pointing at something. Now it's pointing at the green. That's all the directions, right? Or maybe it does have to go to green next, then. Okay. So I was wrong about the order and that it's going to shoot over there next and then come back around, perhaps? This might be how you open one of the tusks to, to get into the, uh... The, the linking books. This game actually might be more like Mist 1 than Riven after all, because it, it, it might be that we're on a hub world. In Mist, Mist was a hub world that got you to each of the linking books, and then those linking books were separate worlds that you would solve puzzles on, whereas Riven was mostly just Riven for pretty much the entire game, honestly. There's only a handful of moments where you left Riven. 
from what I remember at least. So this is on hold until I find my way over there, but that might be what I do if I go this way. But at this point, yeah, I'm guessing that the three missed... I'm guessing that the three uh, tusks each have a linking book inside them, and that's what we do based on what we were told in that cutscene a moment ago. That recording that our not-villain has left for us. By which I mean it's not... Uh, even that's on top of a giant tusk. Just giant tusks are a thing here, huh? When I say not villain, I don't mean that he's not the villain of the game, but it's that he's not our villain. He's not meant to be. He's leaving all these traps for Atrus and even thinking we're Atrus, which is concerning. Sound? Oh, it's a whistling rock. The rock is making the sound. Do we look like Atrus? Do we, I don't think we know what we look like, do we? That's trippy. What if we've been Atrus the entire time? <gasps> and so I have completed the loop. And I have no real reason to go there again, because we've, we've been there now. But now we know. Hey look, he's still chowing down over there. Figure out what to do with him later. Or maybe that's all you do, you just make a little creature happy and then that's the end of it. Hello, what are you? Can I go over there? No. Can I look at it? No. You're an odd one. Curious about you. What if you have to bounce all those beams around and then get them to this one and then that opens this door? We'll see if it opens. Okay, so this one does not open, and there you can see the weird bird-looking swoop. The Nike bird up there. I'm thinking you bounce those lights around between all those different things, and then they then they hit this guy and open this thing. So I need to find my way to the green, if I want to continue. And going through here is probably the fastest way. So I have to cross those rocks before. Try going back up. You're so now we know you are kind of. Not sure what to make of this situation here. Yeah, there's the bird. So there's the bird. Back there's the Nike bird. <laughs> the other bird. I don't know. And then somewhere, and then elsewhere was the other symbol too that I'm looking for. We haven't been across this bridge yet. Kind of diverged. Here's the red one. Not convinced that I need this one yet. Let's go to the green one, because I think that's where it's currently pointing. Is there anything else around here? No. So it's pointing the light over there right now. We don't want that. Ah. Uh. Now it's probably pointing directly to the red. We can see if I can make use of that. That's not particularly helpful, I don't think. Yeah, that's pointing at me. Which might go over to where... It to there? I think that's where we need to go. Ah, that's tinnitus. Leave me alone. Nope. Oh. And I went past it. This, so this might already be... Yeah, it's going to purple now. I wonder if we're already done, because it made a sound that sounded odd, almost like we finished it. 
I might have preset it up correctly. Now this is pointing at red. Over there, I believe. Hey there, red. Where are you pointing? <laughs> and then I was blind. The end. Oh, it could be pointing in that door. I think it might be. The, the, which is the thing that I'm trying to use. They might have pointed exactly to that weird door. Is there a weird dark spot? Just rocks, I think. There we go. Okay, and it shoots a rainbow onto the door, apparently, and... What do you- what? There's more. Okay. So I've gone as far as to get the color coat. I got the series of beams over here. Oh, do I have to get the the correct order down? Um, green, red, blue, red, th that one. Nope. The fact that shooting green at me is not important. I'm just standing inside the green light. I think the order in which we go through them is the important thing here. It shot red across to me. It was purple red at the end, right? Oh well, I'll just go check myself instead of trying to guess more. So you're yellow. You're shooting at blue. So it's red, blue, green, purple, red. Red, blue, green... I mean, shit. Not articulating very well right now. Yellow. Blue. Green. Red. Purple? Yellow. Blue. Green. Purple. Red. Crap. I figured it's the order in which the light's bouncing through them. Am I misremembering them? It's definitely yellow, blue. I think it was green. That's on the other side, right? Green. Oh, there's another one over there. It's yellow, blue, green. But then I think it's like... I think red shows up multiple times, for example. It's not a simple one-to-one -one combo. Yeah, there's a weird number of entries in it. There's yellow again. Yeah, the combination is longer than you, than just one use of each character. So yellow, blue, green, red, yellow. Yellow, blue, green, red, yellow. Purple, red. Yellow, blue, green, red, yellow. Yellow, blue, green, red, yellow, yeah. I think I still remember it. I should really be writing it down. Like, I should really be writing it down. Yellow, blue, green, red, yellow, purple, red. Got it. We have absolutely, officially nailed it. Okay. The heck's going on here? Oh. We need a combination again, it would appear. I can't just press you, I need an answer, a combination, or something.
And I don't think we're gonna get it out of these so easily, are we? Oops, whoa, it backlogs those clicks. <laughs> Did not know it backlog clicks. So there's the map of an area. More maps and sketches and horizons. That's all of it. Not encouraging. So now I've found two of these things. Where it appears I need a combination of some kind in order to proceed. Alright. Back to the search then. You don't seem like my answer, do you? No. We'll make sense of this thing yet. 